Electric power is the rate, per unit time, at which electrical energy is transferred by an electric circuit. The SI unit of power is the watt, 1 joule per second. Electric power is usually produced by electric generators, but can also be supplied by sources such as electric batteries. It is usually supplied to businesses and homes as domestic mains electricity by the electric power industry through an electric power grid. Electric energy is usually sold by the kilowatt hour, 1 kilowatt hour equals 3.6 megajoules, which is the product of the power in kilowatts multiplied by running time in hours. Electric utilities measure power using an electricity meter, which keeps a running total of the electric energy delivered to a customer. Electrical power provides a low entropy form of energy and can be carried long distances and converted into other forms of energy such as motion, light or heat with high energy efficiency. Definition Electric power, like mechanical power, is the rate of doing work, measured in watts, and represented by the letter P. The term wattage is used colloquially to mean electric power in watts. The electric power in watts produced by an electric current I consisting of a charge of Q coulombs every T seconds passing through an electric potential voltage difference of V is P equals work done per unit time equals V Q T equals V I display style P equals text work done per unit time equals frac V Q T equals V I where Q is electric charge in coulombs T is time in seconds I is electric current in amperes V is electric potential or voltage in volts Explanation Electric power is transformed to other forms of energy when electric charges move through an electric potential voltage difference, which occurs in electrical components in electric circuits. From the standpoint of electric power, components in an electric circuit can be divided into two categories. Passive devices or loads, when electric charges move through a potential difference from a higher to a lower voltage, that is when conventional current positive charge moves from the positive plus terminal to the negative minus terminal, work is done by the charges on the device. The potential energy of the charges due to the voltage between the terminals is converted to kinetic energy in the device. These devices are called passive components or loads, they consume electric power from the circuit, converting it to other forms of energy such as mechanical work, heat, light, etc. Examples are electrical appliances, such as light bulbs, electric motors, and electric heaters. In alternating current AC circuits the direction of the voltage periodically reverses, but the current always flows from the higher potential to the lower potential side. Active devices or power sources, if the charges are moved by an exterior force through the device in the direction from the lower electric potential to the higher, so positive charge moves from the negative to the positive terminal, work will be done on the charges, and energy is being converted to electric potential energy from some other type of energy, such as mechanical energy or chemical energy. Devices in which this occurs are called active devices or power sources, such as electric generators and batteries. Some devices can be either a source or a load, depending on the voltage and current through them. For example, a rechargeable battery acts as a source when it provides power to a circuit, but as a load when it is connected to a battery charger and is being recharged, or a generator as a power source and a motor as a load. Topic: 
Passive Sign Convention Since electric power can flow either into or out of a component, a convention is needed for which direction represents positive power flow. Electric power flowing out of a circuit into a component is arbitrarily defined to have a positive sign, while power flowing into a circuit from a component is defined to have a negative sign. Thus passive components have positive power consumption, while power sources have negative power consumption. This is called the passive sign convention. <laughs> Resistive circuits In the case of resistive ohmic or linear loads, Joule's law can be combined with Ohm's law V equals IR to produce alternative expressions for the amount of power that is dissipated. P equals I V equals I two R equals V. 2 r display style p equals i v equals i caret 2 r equals frac v caret 2 r where r is the electrical resistance topic alternating current In alternating current circuits, energy storage elements such as inductance and capacitance may result in periodic reversals of the direction of energy flow. The portion of power flow that, averaged over a complete cycle of the AC waveform, results in net transfer of energy in one direction is known as real power also referred to as active power. That portion of power flow due to stored energy, that returns to the source in each cycle, is known as reactive power. The real power P in watts consumed by a device is given by P equals 1 2 V P I P cos theta equals V R M S I R M S cos theta Display style P equals one over two V underscore P I underscore P cos theta equals V underscore room RMS I underscore room RMS cos theta where VP is the peak voltage in volts IP is the peak current in amperes VRMs is the root mean square voltage in volts IRMs is the root mean square current in amperes. Theta is the phase angle between the current and voltage sine waves. The relationship between real power, reactive power, and apparent power can be expressed by representing the quantities as vectors. Real power is represented as a horizontal vector, and reactive power is represented as a vertical vector. The apparent power vector is the hypotenuse of a right triangle formed by connecting the real and reactive power vectors. This representation is often called the power triangle. Using the Pythagorean theorem, the relationship among real, reactive and apparent power is apparent power 2 equals real power 2 plus reactive power 2 display style m box apparent power caret 2 equals m box real power caret 2 plus m box reactive power caret 2 real and reactive powers can also be calculated directly from the apparent power when the current and voltage are both sinusoids with a known phase angle theta between them real power equals apparent power 
cos theta display style m box real power equals m box apparent power cos theta reactive power equals apparent power sin theta display style m box reactive power equals m box apparent power sin theta the ratio of real power to apparent power is called power factor and is a number always between 0 and 1. Where the currents and voltages have non-sinusoidal forms, power factor is generalized to include the effects of distortion. Topic: Electromagnetic fields. Electrical energy flows wherever electric and magnetic fields exist together and fluctuate in the same place. The simplest example of this is in electrical circuits, as the preceding section showed. In the general case, however, the simple equation P equals IV must be replaced by a more complex calculation, the integral of the cross product of the electrical and magnetic field vectors over a specified area, thus, P equals S E times H D A display style P equals int underscore S math B F E times math B F H C D O T math B F da The result is a scalar since it is the surface integral of the pointing vector. topic generation the fundamental principles of much electricity generation were discovered during the 1820s and early 1830s by the british scientist michael faraday his basic method is still used today electricity is generated by the movement of a loop of wire or disk of copper between the poles of a magnet for electric utilities, it is the first process in the delivery of electricity to consumers. The other processes, electricity transmission, distribution, and electrical power storage and recovery using pumped storage methods are normally carried out by the electric power industry. Electricity is mostly generated at a power station by electromechanical generators, driven by heat engines heated by combustion, geothermal power or nuclear fission. Other generators are driven by the kinetic energy of flowing water and wind. There are many other technologies that are used to generate electricity such as photovoltaic solar panels. A battery is a device consisting of one or more electrochemical cells that convert stored chemical energy into electrical energy. Since the invention of the first battery or voltaic pile in 1800 by Alessandro Volta and especially since the technically improved Daniel cell in 1836, batteries have become a common power source for many household and industrial applications. According to a 2005 estimate, the worldwide battery industry generates US$48 billion in sales each year, with 6% annual growth. There are two types of batteries, primary batteries disposable batteries, which are designed to be used once and discarded, and secondary batteries rechargeable batteries, which are designed to be recharged and used multiple times. Batteries come in many sizes, from miniature cells used to power hearing aids and wristwatches to battery banks the size of rooms that provide standby power for telephone exchanges and computer data centers. <laughs> <laughs> Electric power industry The electric power industry provides the production and delivery of power, in sufficient quantities to areas that need electricity, through a grid connection. The grid distributes electrical energy to customers. 
Electric power is generated by central power stations or by distributed generation. The electric power industry has gradually been trending towards deregulation, with emerging players offering consumers competition to the traditional public utility companies. Use Electric power, produced from central generating stations and distributed over an electrical transmission grid, is widely used in industrial, commercial and consumer applications. The per capita electric power consumption of a country correlates with its industrial development. Electric motors power manufacturing machinery and propel subways and railway trains. Electric lighting is the most important form of artificial light. Electrical energy is used directly in processes such as extraction of aluminum from its ores and in production of steel in electric arc furnaces. Reliable electric power is essential to telecommunications and broadcasting. Electric power is used to provide air conditioning in hot climates, and in some places electric power is an economically competitive source of energy for building space heating. Use of electric power for pumping water ranges from individual household wells to irrigation projects and energy storage projects. See also. EGRID Electric energy consumption Electric power system High voltage cable Power engineering Power station Rural electrification Notes <laughs> <laughs>